The GOAT RS19 is the third iteration of the MSX line. What I have is the high torque version of the third batch of the RS with the black motherboard, smaller bearings, and more tilted pedals. Even though the grip of the pedals is okay, I recommend you to upgrade to spiked pedals for more grip. On the left side, there are two Bluetooth speakers and on the right side, there is an RS logo that makes this wheel look sporty. Equipped with dual input charge ports with maximum 8 amps of power. Now, it has a display, even though it can only be seen at night and not clearly seen during the day. With its 2600 watt motor, it can go at a speed of 56 km per hour for the HD version and 65 km per hour for the HS version. At 100% battery, the RSHT cuts out at 78 km per hour during a free spin. With its 1800 Wh battery, they claim that this wheel can go up to 96 km. It's time to review the RS19 High Torque. Let's go! Since it is a high torque version of the RS, then let's start the test with an acceleration test. Wow, this wheel is super responsive for both the acceleration and braking. You can never do it on the Sherman. On this latest batch, the pedals is not level. It is angled, as you can see. It is different with the previous batches. As you can see here. Of course, it is less convenient than the previous batch. However, these angled pedals help us maneuver more easily. So it is purely a performance machine. And now, let's do the agility test. Let's see 
how agile the RS19 high torque can be. Let's go! I never had a wheel this agile. The torque enhanced the maneuverability a lot. I feel I become more aggressive riding this wheel. I'm now in the middle of a forest. Look at this. No one else at all, only me. I'm now going to test my RS on this off-road track. And let's see whether the RS can handle this kind of off-road track or not. Let's find out. I think the combination of the torque and the nimbleness makes this wheel super great. Of course, suspension wheels like S18 and the V11 can handle this kind of off-road track. However, in terms of the riding experience, I think the RS High Torque gives us the best experience compared to those two wheels. For me, the presence of the suspension in the V11 and the S18 kills the fun when we are riding in an off-road track. Hi guys, I am at a place where I want to test the torque of my RS19 high torque. You can see this. Let's try it with the RS19 high torque and let's see what happens.
cobain lagi ya. <laughs> Penasaran? It is my first high performance bigot wheel. This wheel makes me understand why there are many pro riders out there who choose bigot wheels over any other wheels. This wheel is beast. It is lightweight and has high torque. The combination of these two things makes this wheel exceptionally nimble and it enables us to ride aggressively. Sudden acceleration and braking can be done easily, even though I don't use any side pads, as you see. The side LEDs are not only making the wheel look so cool, it makes us noticeable by other riders when we are doing night riding. However, the front light is not that bright, you will need some additional lights for safer night riding. Other than that, as we all know that the build quality of Bigot wheels is not satisfying. So choose Bigot wheels only if you crave for performance. I am Petra. Keep riding and have fun. Bye. Woo!